a human brain and a chimpanzee brain. If it were not for the difference in size, it would be almost impossible to distinguish. A significant part of the brain is the structures of the so-called limbic system. It is one of the oldest parts of the brain, which appeared in the first vertebrates. The human limbic system is virtually no different from its analog in monkeys. Its area of responsibility includes the same animal instincts, reproduction, nutrition, and dominance. Then emotions and memory developed. And this is the so-called superstructure, a thin layer of gray matter, one or two tenths of an inch thick, covering the jiri of the cerebral hemispheres of the brain. This is a new cortex, the neocortex. The new cortex appeared in small mammals. It is quite developed in chimpanzees. But the new cortex not only covered the cerebral hemisphere of the brain in humans, it has also became much more complicated. It is the development of the new cortex that is believed to be connected to the emergence of creative thinking and consciousness.